Hey guys, Laura Loomer here. I'm about to show you the creepiest and the scariest endorsement for governor that was caught on camera that you'll ever see in your life. Check it out. When I think about building power, I think about brothers like Abdul Sayyid who is in this room today, who is running to be the first Muslim governor of the state of Michigan. He can't, sisters and brothers, he's a wonderful brother. He's an inspiring brother. He is well qualified to be the next governor of Michigan, but he can't do that without you. That brother does, not only does he need your mashallah and bismillah and dua, he needs your money. And to my favorite person in this room, because that's mutual, is Imam Siraj Wahaj, who has been a mentor, a motivator, an encourager of mine, someone who has taught me to speak truth to power and not worry about the consequences, someone who has taught me that we are on this earth to please Allah and only Allah, that we are not here to please any man or woman on this earth. So I'm grateful to you, Imam Siraj, and you might think this is weird, but every once in a while when I get into that deep, a dark place, um, Imam Siraj comes and talks to me. Um, and that he helps me to emerge out of those spaces. So I'm grateful to you, Imam Siraj. May Allah bless you and protect you and keep you for a long time for our community because we need you uh, now more than ever. As you can see, there's some pretty scary and disturbing things going on in Linda Sarsour's head. But what's even more disturbing and scarier than that is the fact that Abdul El Said, who's currently running to become the first Muslim governor of Michigan, didn't distance himself from Sarsour, even after she expressed admiration and support for Siraj Wahaj, who was a co-conspirator in the 1993 attempt to blow up the World Trade Center in New York. Siraj once said, it's my duty and our duty as Muslims to replace the United States Constitution with the Quran. But wait, there's more. What's even more disturbing than that is the fact that El Saeed brought Linda Sarsour on to be his de facto campaign manager. Yes, you heard that correctly. His de facto campaign manager.